this is oh my gosh hold on <laughs> adjust the mic this is one of those real comfy streams i feel where i'm gonna be like mildly half asleep and just rambling saying literally anything that comes to mind like y you know you know those kinds of streams you know what else is those kinds of streams three two one hello everybody welcome to the stream it is the band out stream today on this fine 8th of january 2024 i hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you uh let's hop right into uh this one <laughs> we're, we're, we're going with the quick two we're going with the quick two um but yeah no my week's been pretty all right i uh i've gone back to work after a bit of a holiday respite and uh work is still work which is great i guess it's the same place as when i left it so that's all good Whoop. Hey, it's Quake. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, no, I hope you're all having a great time. Let's just jump right into it. We got the power plant. We're going right in. Um, in the last stream, oh, I mean, it was the only stream of Quake 2, but pretty much start of the game 2. This is the beginning of uh, Unit 6. Uh, at the beginning of Unit 6, we'll notice there's a big lad down there. Oh my gosh, I don't. Ooh, ooh. So, uh, let's, uh, well, let's return the favor, shall we? It bounces. Oh. I think he's got rockets at all. He's definitely got rockets. <laughs> we should be able to take him out. Somehow. Let's keep getting him, I guess. Um, but yeah. Oh. Oh. Bit more firing down there. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I've had a pretty chill week. If there's one thing, uh, I think everyone has had a chill week because, uh, oh, oh, hold on, because, uh, my list of, like, topics for this week is very, very quiet. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I feel, oh, there he goes. He's very dead now. Why did we take him out? Well, you can hop down, of course, and you could have fought him in the trenches. Uh, but most importantly, there's a key card right there. So you kind of needed to go down here in some way. Um, let's grab that, shall we? And, uh, and continue on our merry, merry way. Our merry, merry trek. Uh, psh, where are we going? We're down here. Here we go. Where does this lead? Uh, literally, just back up a bit. Oh my gosh, hi there. Oh, hi there. Here's a new enemy. Um, I don't know. I don't know the names of any enemy. I can tell you that. Uh, but these chicks fire rockets. They're very slow, so they won't be able to dodge you in any way. Not like these guys. Um, so feel free to send rockets their way. But uh, they are going to be a bit mean because them sending rockets means big damage. Big damage is no good. We don't like big damage here. We like small damage coming to us. Not the big stuff. I hate the big stuff. Um... But yeah, it's at this point in the game where we start having like a good, you know, arsenal of weapons and other kinds of gadget. Oh my gosh, hi there. Other kinds of gadgets and tools to use, but we're definitely going to be a little bit... Oh, hi there. Okay, hold on. Oh, there we go. Where'd you come from? There's not a medic over there, is there? I think that's just a spawn. A wacky spawn. Uh, red key card gets us through this door, and we'll continue on our, our merry way. Definitely gonna have... Oh my gosh, enemies coming all over the shop. Um, but yeah, uh, if any... Oh, oh. Hi. Hi, how you doing? There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, that's the joys of 3D. Just stuff like that will happen, you're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I got a welcome. <laughs> uh, that that seems to be an exploding thing. Oh, we're going up. <laughs> Lots of things going on about. Uh, but yeah, no, I wanted to have some news uh, queued up, but to be honest, uh, the news hasn't exactly happened yet. I sort of talked about the Nvidia supercards last week. Uh, greetings, Bob. Strikes everywhere, so I'm home this planet. Ooh, strikes. Strikes are always interesting and fun. And sort of sucks when it starts being a bit of a stalemate and less a stalemate and more a losing mate when, you know, one side doesn't have the money. But strikes are a necessary part of society in the sense that 
things are demanded, I guess. So hopefully the strikes go in your favor uh, and things will work out. Um, yeah, I feel like I probably, well, I was like, I feel like I probably walked past an enemy and there he is right there. Chilling, chilling on his balcony. Actually today it's protest, strike starts Wednesday. Ah, okay. Well, good luck on those strikes. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, I sort of spoke about all those NVIDIA news, um, last week, and, uh, all it's been is rumors, but we sort of knew the cards in their entirety, apart from the price, and all we know right now is rumored pricing, which is, doesn't count, so, I'm sort of gonna leave that topic, uh, all this stuff gets announced as of, uh, six hours after I stream, if you're watching on YouTube, it's definitely happened. Uh, because it's like 3 a.m. our local time. Uh, on top of that, I didn't even realize, uh, Intel is releasing non-K versions of their processors, the 14th gen, uh, which will actually be Raptor Lake Refresh, and not just Alder Lake again. So, very nice for those kinds of people. Uh, unless, again, the price sucks. But, that's about it. That's all I really have to say. I didn't even pick up anything in the Steam sale, but I did pick up, uh, Phoenix Immortals Rising for 90% off 15 bucks Australian with the DLCs. Uh, is it a good game? Well, I haven't played it. Is it a good game from what I've heard? Uh, it's pretty fine. Pretty fine, but it has a lot of uh, Breath of the Wild dripping from it, which is like, a lot of people are like, yeah, you might as well just play Breath of the Wild. So what do you do when you're done with Breath of the Wild? You play Phoenix and Wolves Rising, I guess. I've missed the 90% off sales, by the way, though. That, that, that's, I guess, a general thing I want to mildly rip on. Oh, CD. Heck yeah. Ah, uh, that spawned some dudes on me. Oh, hi there. Please hope that the door to my left doesn't open. Oh my gosh, these guys are jerks. Hold on, let me, let me, let me switch over to the rocket launcher and get them with their own medicine. They are not very kind, these ladies. The Rocketeers are cool mistresses or something, I don't know. Look at him dodging that, you see that? And there's a... I'm hearing... Oh, there you are. Hi there. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Um... But yeah, yeah, I feel like I've got a general topic of uh, games are getting too expensive and I know I've talked about it before, but in particular after a Steam sale, uh, where's all the 90% offs? Uh, they don't exist anymore and uh, to me complaining it's like, well, you know, I am a consumer in this market, so, uh, you know, I, I guess like, I, I, I am only as valid as my... Oh, look at that. It's a BFG. Just chilling right here. The BFG is a fun weapon because you fire it and everyone dies. Literally everyone. But it does use a lot of ammo, so you probably won't be seeing me use it too often. But often enough on the bosses, often. So... And also, uh, it appears a ton in the uh, expansion, so don't worry. It is... Also, I guess it is... Uh, Got its great return after Doom, which uh, I have not played on stream, so you're gonna have to access to the toxic, toxic waste dump denied. Well, okay, okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit of a cheapskate when it comes to video games, particularly PC video games, because I was spoiled by a lot of the whole like 75% off, 80% off kinds of deals way back in the day. Um, you know, like uh, like you pick up a lot of games on Steam for like you know 30 bucks, and you get like multiple games. And you're like, whoa, okay. That's pretty cool. And then on top of that, you'd have like good collections of games. So it's like multiple older games for a good price on sale on top. And like that's kind of stuff. I miss it. And on top of that, I bought so much stuff that I have yet to really get around to all of it. There's still plenty of older games. So I'm like, oh, I can still play. Like Quake 2, you know, for example. Um, but uh, there's so much newer stuff that... Like, the only thing that has convinced me to buy Phoenix Immortals Rising is that it's cheap. Because by the- when it comes out, I'm- at least I can see that the game exists, but I think, oh, it's a bit expensive. And not like, you know, the game's not worth that amount, but that I can buy other games or play the ones I have. Wait for it to come cheaper. And 
until it never comes cheaper in the sense of what Call of Duty... Oh look, he dropped a quad damage, okay. Um, the Call of Duty games have famously always go for like half price and never less. And they're not really worth it. Like, I'm still not spending like 70 bucks on Black Ops 2. I've got plenty of games I can play before I can play Black Ops 2, man. You know, that's fine. So, uh, is my voice completely valid? Uh, it's, it's, it's valid for me. It's not valid for, you know, depends what everyone else has. I think, oh my gosh, excuse me. Get him out of here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I... I guess I'm enough of a cheapskate. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> get him out of there. Get get your pal. No, no, no. I still get him. He's still around. Punch him. Ah, oh, they failed. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Are other people cheapskates like me, or... I guess the thing is that, like, back in the old day, you know, you didn't have Steam, so you'd always buy a lot of games for kind of high prices. They'd get to discount prices eventually, but they'd never be the crazy, like, Steam sales. Um, so, you'd, you'd probably buy, like, maybe half price in general. And then, by the time games get very cheap, or at least, you know, should be getting very cheap, like in the Steam sales, a lot of the time, you know, I was a console gamer or a handheld gamer, and I'd have to get the new handheld. And, uh... You know, you don't get discounts on the games you can, well, you can't get discounts on the games you can't play, but like, you know what I mean? It's like, you gotta find an old console in order to play the games on consoles that you don't have. Or things start getting very clearanced, you know, they're, they're kind of gone. I do remember picking up some real good ones um, at good times, like I remember, uh, oh my gosh, that is acid, excuse me, sorry, that was very hot, I'm sorry. Uh, for me to buy a game full price nowadays, it has to either be not too expensive in total, 10 or 20 bucks depending on the expected playtime, and pretty good, or really unique in the next iteration of a really good series like Earth Defense Force. Yeah, I, I'd say that's, that's, um, that's the other thing as well, is that like, you know, I've only got so much time, and while I feel like I've probably played a lot of, you know, real average games. Hi there, how you doing? This level sort of snakes around in a bit of a weird way, but the whole goal is just to hit that one switch. Now we can go to the cooling facility, wherever it is. Um, but yeah, no, like, time is also valuable. Like, yeah, like, uh, you know, what's the, what's the classic meme? It's like when you're young, you have uh, time and energy, but no money. When you're, you know, middle age, you have uh, energy and money, but no time. And when you're old, you have uh, time and money, but no energy. It's like that. Um, I guess we can we can walk into the next uh, the next level, which we'll come back eventually. But cooling facility. Um, but yeah, like you know, like these days. Granted, I don't have too many life commitments, so my time is very very uh, free in the grand scheme of things. But even then, it's like I know at some point I'll probably introduce so much uh, you know, extra stuff for me that it's like eh, you know getting around the games or other kinds of things. You know, like, I, I, I've i reached that point where I've dropped commitments, so it's just like, you know, at some point you, you gotta you gotta just call what you can do, and at some point, playing games ends up being that, which is really weird, because when I was younger, I'd always think, oh, like, you know, do people just stop playing games because uh, they found other hobbies, or like, they're actually bored of it, and uh, I realized the answer is kind of yes. I feel like at some point, people have played kind of as many games as they care about at least not not everyone but a lot of people i know of um and who knows maybe i'll get the, to that boat as well but at least for now you know i'm still having a good time if albeit playing lots of libraries of games that are not recent i'm sort of playing it in this like weirdly historical you know view just a lot of, lots of old games i guess such as, uh, <laughs> that's a wonderful segue, such as, uh, the game that I've been playing this week is Gran Turismo on the PSP, which is, uh, sort of a handheld version of Gran Turismo 4, except they forgot the single player. They put in most of the cars, and most of the tracks, and they even got the Lamborghini and Ferrari license, and they even put a license test in, and then they forgot to add events that reward you for cars, so instead they made a generic mode where you pick whatever race and whatever laps you want to do, 
race against similarly tiered opponents always and get some money that you will then translate into car which rotate and that's it that's the whole game um so yeah uh like currently the only games i would consider buying full price 60 bucks right now in the next few months will be dragon's dogma 2 not sure i'll get one yet we'll wait on the opinion of a few youtube channels if they like it or not and the other is edf6 which will release sometime this year to steam I, I picked up Dragon's Dogma 1 ages ago, and I should really give that one a go, but yeah. Oh, hi there. Did I even do anything in that room, or is it just like, nah. These guys are very rail gunnable, though. You can't dodge what doesn't exist a frame ago. Yeah, did that button do anything, or did I just wander around? Yeah, well, <laughs> I swear I walked into that one. Last game I bought full price, that was more than 20 bucks. I have no clue. Yeah, no, I, I I picked up a bunch of stuff on sale for my mates, and uh, I feel like they liked it. Hopefully, got some goods. And then one of my mates bought me Glover. I'm calling you out, man. You bought me Glover. <laughs> uh, do some people are like, oh wait, it opened this. Some people are very, very devoted about Glover. I am very, very, like, anti-Glover. I do not like Glover. <laughs> I hate clown levels. What can I say? This water's good fun. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hold on, oh, there we go, there we go. Like, I didn't even get Elden Ring on release. I, I mean, real talk, a lot of people did get Elden Ring on release, but I would still say that, like, the reason why they're sort of not going too hard onto sale prices is because a lot of people, um, you know, still get it on, you know, at full price or whatever. Um, also, uh, was it more patient waiting for new games? Yeah, that's, that's a good mindset, because I also feel like the other problem, and 2023... You know, in in retrospect, was full of a lot of games that ran really poorly on PC. A lot of real poor ones. To be fair, Elden Ring is worth it. I, I do hear that, yeah. And and I guess that's a that's a thing. You know, how much is a game worth? How much like tedium, I guess, detracts from the experience? How much you know content do you need? How much all the stuff? I think everyone's got their own different equation. Um, I worry that games just put all their eggs into making tons of content that's sort of trash at times. I prefer just to keep your games a bit leaner. Uh, from top to the marketing, they didn't overhype it. Look at that, grenades down here. I don't need them much. Dude, I, I will keep not using my grenade launcher though, because it's kind of inconvenient. And it also doesn't quite do as much damage as the rocket launcher. But when you're on the mark and when you've got enemies that you can handle, you know, it all works out. Decent amount of content, a bit bigger than Dark Souls. The size of the game is insane. Yeah, one day I'll play it. Uh, for now, I haven't played it, I guess. But uh, I've definitely seen a lot of my mates play it. And, like, they're super into it. So I guess that's a good sign. Um, I'm hearing a noise. But I'm a little concerned of where it's from. <laughs> like, just the first area is the size of Dark Souls 1 in terms of content. I mean, I remember Breath of the Wild kind of being like that as well, where, um, like, in terms of how did they market it, and they, they showed off, they, I remember that one year, E3, and all they showed was Breath of the Wild, and that was it. They didn't have any other games. They ha they mentioned Pokemon Ultra Sun, and they were like, yeah, but Ultra Sun is like, you know, Ultra Sun. Who cares? We got, we got Zelda. And they showed off this whole area and, like, all these mechanics. And then they, like, the, the big reveal at the end was, here's the size of the map when you zoom it out. And here's just the starting area, which was teeny tiny. Um, and so the starting area, you know, still has, like, a, a decent chunk of content. Clearly, it's not a full game's worth of content. But the fact that it is so small on the map was sort of like the, the whole like you know this whole game's got scale um i feel like as well it was pretty well you know pretty accurate at the end of the day because you don't want to be like sold on something that's like not really representative of the rest of the game but i think breath of the wild did a good job of it oh, look at that we're back at the top oh hi there out of the box and there we go uh 
Um, so I feel like, yeah, it, you know, that's also an interesting point of, like, how does the marketing play into it? Um, because on the one hand, I'd like to claim I'm immune to, you know, like, marketing BS and stuff like that, but I know I'm not. And, well, look at that. Look at a wonderfully connected level. And it leads back into the reactor. You know, like from... Here. Here. <laughs> You know, we could have just gone into any other door, but nah, that one in particular. So now we can go to the toxic waste dump, wherever that was. And the big gun is that way, so you want to keep that direction in mind. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, keeping the, the marketing in mind is definitely important, because uh, I think that sets... You know, like, that, or that, that provides context to the... Um, to the feedback you get. There's a lot of games I know of where the marketing works. A lot of people will play it because of that marketing. And then it's like, what do people think about it? Games that are like widely hated, um, sometimes are just because they were marketed so well that didn't live up to the game itself. And sometimes there's games, Cough, Cough, Towers Principle, that, um, you know, receive like no marketing and people don't even realize it exists. And then it doesn't receive a game award nomination, whatever. You can tell it's toxic because the fog is green and there's fog. Um, I like how it's like, oh, I'm going to use the grenade launcher, and I barely used it. It's because these guys are going to dodge everything. He can't get me in this tiny tunnel. Um, this area reminds me of, um, one of, one of the Quake 1 levels, where you got the- oh my gosh. We got the, the, the staircase- I'm pretty sure it's an episode 4 level. Pretty sure it was. You know what I mean. There were like the, the spawns jumping all over like the kind of by here. Oh hi, there's a big guy. Let's get him with the rockets. But yeah, yeah, like it it's an interesting problem and I don't exactly know if uh you know we can easily say there's actual physical. Once you have a decent game you can sell without being uh, only uh, downvoted. The most important thing is building up awareness your game exists. Also someone who knows as a game dev told. Yeah, yeah, awareness is- oh, hi there. <laughs> hi there. Um, yeah, awareness is a big one uh, as well. And I feel like that's a huge struggle like so many indie games have where how does anyone know your game exists unless you go basically viral on the internet? Um, I don't have an answer for that because uh, I don't really, I don't really go, I don't really know what's viral anymore. Um, but yeah, it's, it is like, it is a similar thing. I feel like there are definitely games that I know of that work like that. Like I, I was definitely made very aware of Pizza Tower, um, partially because following its game dev, uh, partially because that's the kind of circles that I follow that would be interested in Pizza Tower. Um, unfortunately for Pizza Tower, I don't own it, so, but I bought someone a copy and that's close enough. Uh, if the game is decent, making it better does not sell you more copies. You have to... Yes. Yes, that is true. Oh! I'm... Oh, I broke my legs. Hold on, let's load that one. Where on earth was that guy? Did he just walk up back here? Yeah, he did! A jerk. Um, yeah, yeah, that's 100% right. Um, and it's weird as well, because, like, I've... I mean, someone's probably gonna say, like, in the past I said stuff about, uh, how... Um... You know, you don't need marketing these days. You just let it go. But, like, no, like, things still market to whatever. That still exists. This whole unit is, like, pretty iconic in my mind. There's a lot of, like, areas and, and set pieces that I feel like I just remember a lot. And I know I'm gonna say Daikatana vibes, but like legit. <laughs> People rip on Daikatana. Wishlisting that is as well. Yes. Yes. I wishlist a ton of crap on Steam. Some of it I don't actually want to play. I'm just very curious about like watching its price fluctuate. Um, for example, every time Super Seducer goes 69% off and never, never more, never less. When, when is he putting Super Seducer 3 back on Steam? Is it too... Is it too ranchy, too rancid? 
Who knows? Oh, look at that hole. <laughs> Push button. Access granted to pumping station one. That's right. The levels keep on going. This is a big unit. I think it's probably the biggest unit uh, in this half of the game, so... But we'll probably not go for any longer than the last stream, so don't worry too much. Or do worry. If I've got plenty of free time, there's some bonus goodies I can show off as well. Uh, there's one thing I found out about this game as well. Um, one of the devs is actually like... You know, claiming he's quite committed to bringing the PS1 levels into this release. It's not its not here yet, so I'm sort of jumping the gun if it comes up later. Uh, and if it's literally patched in while I'm streaming this, then heck yeah. But, um, but right now it's not, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Even though I didn't play Quake 64 on, on a stream like those levels. We'll, we'll see, but uh, but I will play the Quake 2 64 levels because they are very, very different, at least. Oh. That guy is definitely vaporized, I'll tell you that. Oh my gosh, no, he's not vaporized, he's still there. Come on, there you go, there you go. If there's one thing, the whole, like, value perspective, I remember that being a big thing back in the whole, um, I've got an environmental suit, yeah, check this out, oh. They baited me, they baited me. <laughs> Didn't need to use it. Um, I remember that happened back in the whole music days, um, like, I'm not old enough to remember when CD came out. I'm not that old. Um, but, uh... I do recall like reading things of like basically when CD came out suddenly it was like oh you should probably put more content onto the CD and started having artists start pushing out like 72 minutes albums for no real reason other than to pad out a CD and uh 80 minute ones when the CD's got a bit better and it's just like why because you know this is this is clearly double album territory if you're pushing longer than like 50 minutes you're leaning hard into that double album territory and yet you know, you don't have a double album of content, you're just leaving your B-sides basically on the CD. Not to say all long albums aren't like that, I I will forever love um, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, uh, which is, you know, pre-CD, but I'm like, no, that's a double album that deserves its length. That one, that one deserves it. Um, and, uh... But yeah, when it when it comes to like actual like CDs, I guess these days, it's like what are, what are some longer ones? I think the Mars Volta continually does good stuff. There's a new uh, Omar Rodriguez album. Um, like Friday next week, I think. We'll give it a listen. We'll see how it goes. Will it be weird? Probably. Oop, hi there. Lots of green around here. It's almost as if this is like you know a pumping station. Uh. We gotta make sure you hit the button. Hit the button before you leave. There's a lot of enemies I've apparently missed here. Oh, it's pumping. Cause yeah, he can just walk out without exactly hitting the button. So it's like, oh, okay. There we go. Um, so yeah, I don't know if movies were like that ever really. Cause I know um, movies, Ramstein albums always have exactly 11 songs in varying length. From slightly over 30 minutes to 50 minutes. Yeah, I definitely know some artists that are like that. Like, um, I mean, I'll mention Mars Volta again, but like they they famously did like three albums and grew in like the 76 minute mark, and it's just like, oh my gosh, jeez. Swans typically goes overkill. Um, I mentioned Genesis, like, like a lot of their stuff is kind of long. I think all of their 70s albums were in like the 50 minute mark. <laughs> big boss, big boss, here we go. Uh, I got the BFG. Because there's two of them. Oh, it wasn't enough. Chuck some grenades. That guy didn't take much longer. There we go, pretty good. Yeah. And to me, like, you know, your album can be short. Like, if it's good, 
you can justify 30 minutes. Um, I would definitely say 30 minutes is on the, the like, the sweeter side of you know, content. I, I feel like, yeah, you know, like, you can, I, I don't know, it depends on what you're doing. Because if you're doing, like, punk, it's like, yeah, no, I completely get the shorter length times on those outputs. Whereas if you're doing prog, it's like, nah, man, indulge. Indulge. We got a key card. We got, we got not much health as well while we're at it. I believe this is the other pumping station. There it is, yeah. So we're gonna make our way out town. Walking fast. There we go. Need the key. Oh my gosh. I do remember losing a lot of health just specifically here and then having absolutely no idea where I'm going. Oh my gosh. This is kind of insane. Snipe and kills right here. Right here, get him, get him with that one. Oh, dude, my freaking... My chair keeps, like, the, the, the riser just keeps, like, failing on me, so... Uh, excuse me if I have to take my right arm off my mouse and, and pump up my chair a bit. <laughs> uh, I love how they put this, like, little toxic pit here. And I was like, how do you get it? Oh my gosh, every time. Every time, they just do these crazy jumps. There we go, I think we're good. We're golden. Hi there. Environmental s- oh. Lots of dudes all over the place. Um, yeah. I feel like there'll probably be some good, fun, exciting music of the year, but you'll never know. A lot of albums are not announced, like, too early, so... Um, ah, okay. I see what they want me to do. They want me to... Swim. Sink or swim, and the answer is swim. To get some armor. Or more. Now, I think on my first playthrough, I didn't even, you know, notice. I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure. Can you, can you get in there? Maybe not. Maybe not. But you got the environmental suit on, so, you know, go for a swim. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, do it for the, do it for the quad. Maybe just swim out, that's it. I forgot if you can drain the water, but mm, don't think you really need to, so. We're back out to the Toxic Waste Dump, where they give you another BFG if you didn't pick one up earlier. Uh, let's use some rockets. That guy is a bit dead. Let's see if we can dance around this one guy chasing it. There we go. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. He's out of there. Oh, no. Yeah, he's, he's an actual goner. Oh, no. Um... I don't know, you're just chilling in here. We've got some shield back, that's all good. What is that? Cover in my run and gun shooter? This game's ahead of its time, I'll tell you that. I like how this is still back to that back of the headshot right there. Get him! Oh no, you got him, you got him man, you got him! Ah, oh, so close. But I love how, yeah, this is the whole same area, but they just put up all these barriers and stuff all over the place all of a sudden. Why? I don't know. How? I don't know, but it's cool. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm excited for, like, what exactly is uh, in store for 2024. Hey, Brian, so, you know, you know that's what you gotta say, but... Um, yeah, like, I, I'm curious what's, what's gonna happen exactly, um... Grenade launcher is very good at popping over the walls, oh. I, th I think she's a goner. There we go. Into the last room. You need to use your Vegemite can- oh, exactly. I love how this just- all this does is like, oh. I'm back here. <laughs> now you gotta- wander all the way back. I think you're supposed to observe this and go, ah, map, I guess, but it's not, it's not the most useful map. And your stealth koalas. Uh, oh yeah, and, and the whole area is sort of flooded and, you know, destroying itself. So 
now we can go finally to the big gun which was not this direction it was the other direction <laughs> it was the other way I'm not using the the, the compass so that's oh down I go and that was at uh that world I found one secret one singular secret that's cool <laughs> <laughs> that is a very personal personal location right there uh, but yeah I don't know what to expect though I guess that's the thing <laughs> that's a big thing for 2024 so we take every day when it comes green big gun or did he say Marine Big Gun and I just kind of hiccuped over the first syllable? I believe this is actually a boss encounter. We got doors that are opened elsewhere and then... Oh. There he is! John Big, Big Gun himself! Might as well use the quad. That was it. You, you kind of see why I don't use the quad damage that often. This is like, oh, okay. He's dead, he's gone. All that remains now is to find another quad damage before the uh, before the next level. The quad damage is such good fun, though. Privatization. Jump into the blue liquid. Oh, the bl hold on. I'll jump into the blue liquid. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going back for it. I'm going back for it. The blue liquid. Like this blue liquid. Look at that! My points are overflowing already! <laughs> Look at that! Defense monitor, there you go. The de oh, hi there! <laughs> the real boss just chilling right there. Come on, grenades, you can get him. Activate the lift. There we go. Took him out there. Oh. The laser guard is locked down. Evacuate immediately. Oh, sure. Hold on, wait. There's two guys chilling there. They're making it out. I'm getting there. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, it's just the other side of here. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. When they said imminent, they weren't kidding. I mean, they've got these big lasers, though. Like, you gotta do this, like, duck walk to get through. So I assume you gotta go down here. There you go. Look at that! They even spell it out for you. Hmm. That was a very hard world. I hope you like that one. I love these dudes just running on this level as well. Can we see this one guy behind the, the ships there? Or? Well, it's sort of already exploding, you know. <laughs> On to the eighth unit. And I believe this one starts off with the third and final secret level, so call me out if I somehow miss it, but. I think I know where it is off the top of my head. I think I do. <laughs> I gotta totally remind myself of every other secret level, though, I'll tell you that. Close the main hangar bay door and destroy the black hole generator. Are we making black holes these days? Look at this little cheeky part, but I swear these like chain gunners just have not appeared for like a while. <laughs> They're just back. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was a fun sound.
So I believe if you fall down, I guess you end up here, but... Fish! Get out of here, fish. I don't want you. Shoot, fish. Come on. Get out of here, fish. Um... Yeah, no, I, I'm definitely curious about, like... What's a Make a fish foundation? I, I would love to make a fish. It's like build a, build a bear. Found a fish. So if you go down here and you... Shoot that, the fan stops. Uh, but you should be able to then, apparently, swim through. There we go. I can fit, finally. And if you go through here... More fish. Everyone likes more fish. This is a secret area! Oh my gosh, I know where a secret area is all of a sudden. Come on. Rail gun him. Get him out of there. Oh, big guy. That that's a pretty cool fish. I I thought you were you were showing me some uh, some esoteric programming language. <laughs> I was like, what's going on there? There you go, fell over. We'll never find another one ever again. So I believe if you go in here. It's a little secret level. This is the comm satellite, they went, well, we did like the, uh, the low gravity level, oh, also this is a, a spaceship, so, <laughs> whoops. Um, they liked the low gravity level in, uh, Quake 1, we thought, let's do it again. So they made another one, you can't get sucked out to space now. This one's a funky level as well, because the other thing as well is, like, if you use your grenade launcher, you can clearly tell it's got low gravity as well, which is just like Quake 1. But it does mean I'll probably use this weapon a bit more because I'm a little more accurate where it ends up. It just kind of goes forward. Oh, oh, did you like that, like, leftover shot right there? It just goes. They don't know how to deal with it. Jump around a corner, there's your enemies. Bonk. Look at that. Oh, I, I wanted to be super accurate on that second shot as well, but still, still. Now, if only there were more low gravity levels. Oh, oh, he's coming up to me. And the only thing is that, obviously, you can't change your momentum that hard. You basically control, like, a CSGO surfer, which is kinda. Hold on, I'm surfing right here. They're not really great slopes to surf on. Oh, oh. Oh, I, I don't have a knife. I can do this, though. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it's enough. <laughs> I always- I'm always fascinated by, like, any kind of community mode that does get, like, that kind of support. Like, CSGO surfing is, like, a very, very bizarre mechanic, but, like, I love how it's got so much, like, appeal and so many, like, you know, custom maps that all, you know, play off it. It's very fun. I love these big vertical rooms as well on this level, because it's just, like, you know, if you want a rocket jump, you could probably do it. Oh, let's, let's take out this fella. Just come up to him, you know? <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. So if you wanted to rocket jump, you'd just be like, Yep, I'm going up. And you'd probably like skip like half the level. Oh, we'll try it again. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We'll just go through normally. They designed this to be on foot with high gravity. Oh, well. When there's a lift, suddenly it's like, oh, it sort of trivializes what I just did, didn't it? Destroy the computer panel! There it is. <laughs> all these giblets all over the place. Oh, that's a sound. I think that's part of the music. <laughs> Gosh, lots of these guys, lots of these guys. Take him out, don't need him, don't need him. There we go, we're all clean, we're all clean. Almost all the enemies as well on this level. Where'd they come from? Because I walked through here, I didn't even- Oh, hi, there's another one. Yeah, 
Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, I... I don't really even have, like, any hard plans on, like, what exactly I want to do in a conflict. I guess it's just more of the same. And I get my number one jam at some point. Put it on Bandcamp. Make the big money. I saw this one article. There's this Japanese guy, and he just, like, creates ambient music. And he wakes up, does his morning routine, and then just records, like, two hours of sound. And then just puts us an album on Spotify. And he, like, makes dosh because he just makes a ton of content. That's how, that's how apparently you game Spotify. Uh, there should be another force field button then. Right? I mean, it's a, uh, oh, I gotta take out the dish. Dish dash dosh. Where's the dish chillin'? Oh, this room looks too, oh, hi there! Okay, it's real talk, let's fight this boss. Oh, never mind. Look at all these ceiling buttons they ask you to press. Alright, let's drop down a level. Oh. Uh, do we just go through this? Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not. It's not through that door. Oh, it's just up here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where would he go? Did he die or did, no? He's just chilling down there. Eh. So long, puppy. Puppy. Something, apparently. Oh, there goes the dish. There you go. So he's not he's not too bad in the grand scheme of things, but he does like he does take a fair bit of a beating. I like how this is like right at the beginning of the level as well. I was like, oh okay. This would make a fairly okay deathmatch map. I'm actually curious as well if anyone has played like if anyone's old enough to have played this game's, like, you know, maps as deathmatch maps. I'm curious how they all play out, because, uh, I've always been under the impression that, like, you know, very circular levels, uh, designed in, like, Quake 3, make a lot of sense for deathmatch. And there's obviously actual deathmatch maps in this game, and Quake 1. Um, but, like, how do you go about the maps that, are, like, are more meant to be levels? They're, they're played a bit more linearly, and they've got... More stuff going on. How did those work out as deathmatch maps? Do they work out? It was like uh, when um, Half-Life had its bit of a revitalization. Half-Life 1 had its revitalization um, in the last year. And it was like playing on the death the deathmatch maps. And it's like, yeah, not like that. That That's some deathmatch right there. So, and there goes my chair again. <laughs> so there we go. But yeah, no, that's a fun little secret level. I like that. So onwards. Onwards and upwards. And uh, sidewards. We're gonna deal with uh, swimming past this fan again. <laughs> but now we can actually continue on with what this uh, unit is meant to look like, I guess. Because all that part is just there for, you know, sideshow, basically. I gotta get used to gravity again. <laughs> oh, hi there. You just chilling there the whole time? I left you, I left you out for, for cold? Too cold? It, in the cold, I guess. Push button, activate lift. Oh, bridge. You know how we are. <laughs> the whole anti-gravity part was just a secret area. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That That's all a secret area. Um, Quake 1's got the same thing, except it was in the first episode. In the shareware parts as well. If you know where that secret level is, you get this fun low-gravity level. That's real good fun with the grenades. So, very nice. Uh, unfortunately, no more secret levels, but also... We're getting there. We're getting close to the end of the game. We've still got three units to go. Oh, oh, I, yeah, I'm like, oh, no. At the very least, the railgun is quite nice because you can just shoot through the guy and into the, you know, the medic. The trap over here. There we go. Push the thing and it tells you you need a head. What? Where could the commander's head be? Hmm, a research lab. Good thing they wrote that in English. Oh, that was, that was a, um... It was one of these, was, whoops. Whoops! Instinct, whoopsie daisies. Ah! That 
bad doggy. The weirdest part as well is that like these are like dudes. Why do you put the big tongue on them? Oh, oh, it's another guy. Whoops. I don't know if they activate any enemies uh, because I shot a dude. Seriously, these guys will drain all your health. I swear. Everyone's favorite enemy. The Booba. The Twitch streamer. She's one dynamite gal. That was one thing. I didn't even like talk about that way back in the in the day. It sort of passed us now, the whole Twitch with its artistic nudity. But real talk. What a what a zany like scenario. What an absolutely insane scenario to happen. Like what what is going on there? Oops. I accidentally activated the bomb trap. Oh. What an insane scenario. I'm just like, bro, like one. You know, like, I, unfortunately, I, and I know, I guess, like, you know, Twitch can't pay the bills without effectively, effectively relying on this kind of stuff. Uh, not exclusively Twitch, like, pretty much every large company sort of has this problem. The, uh, the adult industry has a lot of money behind it somehow, and, uh, I don't know. Oh, these guys! Oh my gosh, jeez. This is gonna be- oh, this, this, yep, yep. Yeah, I kinda hate those enemies, because they drop your health. Oh, look at that, a key. What does this one do? Get him! Yeah! <laughs> but yeah, like- oh, hi there. Oh, has this guy just been reviving everyone behind me as well? No, he specifically wanted to hunt me down. Very nice. Oh, I, look, I finally dodged you. I like this level. It's just fun and like, you know, go around these corridors and spawn some enemies behind you. Very nice. Very nice. No, 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 no. You're dealing with me. You're not dealing with, you know, that wall over there. You're dealing with me. Uh, that's Hund. Is that German for the dog, or... Like a hound, or is that... It might be, actually. I don't know. Well, we are now from one into two. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh! How about let's actually use the... Oh, I don't really have it. Railgun it is. I don't exactly have energy weapons to deal with them, so, uh, go with the one that just goes through the shield anyways. Yeah. The hunt, the dog, yeah, but Das is the wrong article. Das is plural, isn't it? So it would be the dogs. Yeah. Is it gendered? Is, is dog... Gendered? Is it, would it be masculine? Because it's, a uh, masculine and, uh, Latin. Oh, this kind of... I really hate this scenario, but I also like how they're all lined up at least. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Is that a medic behind me that brought these fellas back? Yes, it was. You jerks. Get... Oh! No, 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 no. I love how his shield is back. Oh. These guys are actual jerks. I hate them. Yeah. Dog is masculine, yes. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad Ladin continually pays off. Every time I mention Ladin, it always impresses people somehow. Oh. And then it's just like the same thing. Actually, um, real talk, uh, what was it? Um, uh, I was watching my, um, my, uh, oh, uh, do I have it on, on the ready? Oh, this is very, very important that I, I bring this word up in particular. But, um, uh, I, I do a weekly movie night with, um, with a mate of mine, and we keep doing, uh, like, sometimes old food, uh, old movies, and sometimes just, like, a pop culture thing just to dissect and provide some kind of, like, retrospective on it. And, uh, we watched, uh, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or at least the first half of it, so I don't know what happens in the second half. Um, just because, uh, I wanted to do, like, a bit of a post-mortem on this whole, like, Marvel superheroes go into television kinds of stuff. This would be fun to hit these buttons. 
Um, and in it, uh, in the first episode, so it's not really a spoiler if you've never watched it, but, uh, um, the guy, the Winter Soldier guy, uh, he's like, uh, goes on a date with someone or something, I don't know. It, it, she doesn't appear for more than that scene, and she says, it's weird that we've got the name of a widow when someone is, like, you know, their, their, their spouse dies, and we've got an orphan when their, uh, you know, when their parents die, but we don't have a word for when, um, when, uh, someone's child dies, and, uh, hold on, I wrote this down, I wrote this down, uh, it, there's a Sanskrit word called Viloma, I looked that one up, there's a Sanskrit word called Viloma, and it literally means, like, um, unnatural, because it is unnatural for, for a child to be, you know, the, the first one to die, but, like, they use that word particularly for that context. And before it's like, oh, you know, like, you're pulling out an obscure Sanskrit word. It's like, well, the word widow is a Sanskrit word. So it's just like, I don't know, I feel like the reason why it's not a common word is because it doesn't happen very much. Um, also, if I'm pronouncing Sanskrit words wrong, please tell me. Uh, I assume it's like Viloma. Oops. Um, but it actually could be a, a W sound. Because I know it's like that in Latin. It could be a Wheeloma then. So, point is, the word exists. Um, I don't particularly have an example of a, like, a real person whose uh, who's, who's children have passed on. Uh, that's, that's just in the in the show. I mentioned that. Um, the rest of the show, legit, I don't know. It's a bit... Um, it's not to my likings. Like... I, I generally don't like these superhero movies as much as other people do, but I do like the good ones. Um, the good ones are not the same ones as the ones that other people like. So, uh, one of my favorite ones was Ant-Man and the Wasp, because I just think that there's enough, you know, fun action sections and uh, it all pieces together in a pretty alright way. Even if uh, the story's a little, you know, here or there. Um, I thought that one was pretty alright. Uh, Iron Man was good fun. Uh... This is kind of annoying when, when you back to add the lifts in the other order, because I need to somehow get over there. I always come around this the wrong way as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I was also... So we've watched pretty much everything leading up to this point. Um, taking it very slowly, so I'm not exactly getting uh, getting great progress. But, um, yeah, we're up to um, the the TV shows, which I am now... What are you, what are you latching on to? What was he going for? Oh, was he going for these guys? Maybe he actually got one. Maybe I should have just turned around because that's apparently where they're respawning all the enemies. We now go up this lift, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, uh, so a couple of weeks ago we did um, uh, Wonder Vision to start off the Phase Four stuff, and we we took like a fairly big break because I was kind of like, uh, you know, Infinity War was my was my endpoint. Oh, you can take his head. There you go. Um, oh sorry, end game was the end point. Um, and, uh, and then, yeah, for, for me, the fascination comes in that I have a lot of mates who are into the superhero movies and stuff. And, um, uh, when was it, uh, Doctor Strange 2 came out, like, like, June 2022, a lot of my mates suddenly were like, oh, this kind of sucks. And I was like, huh? Really? Because, uh, to me, I was like, oh, like, I love Sam Raimi, um... You know, like, he's done other super- oh my gosh. He's done other superhero movies, so like, you know, Darkman's great, Spider-Man 2's great. You know, good stuff, but like, how come they don't like this one? Because I can imagine a lot more than just Sam Raimi is behind the creative direction of a Marvel movie these days. Um, but... Yeah, so I'm not up to that point. I don't have my own opinions on that, but I can safely say we started off with Watch WandaVision and I was like, this is pretty good. I actually did really like it. I, I thought, you know, hey, they, they understood the episodic structure of television quite well. The colors are great. Like whoever did the color grading on that top shelf, real top shelf, top job. Um, so now with the head, we should be able to go through the other door that I didn't go down. Oh, yes, yes, whoops. <laughs> The button, right here. Here 
we go. So we can now continue on into the hangar bay installation. Let's continue on. Um, I liked how uh, you spent, you know, three episodes um, not really, you know, like within this world without really fully understanding it. And then they would spend an entire episode just outside understanding the space. And then, you know, sort of, sort of in between, but... You know, there's 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 a lot of good variety there. I didn't like how the secondary characters barely had anything to actually like contribute. Like they were there, they were probably identifying things, but in the end of the day, this is a personal journey of the main character, and they were the ones who solved their own problem that they had created. So the other characters were just kind of there. Um, but uh, yeah, in general, you know, like I can't poke at the plot too much because it was. Somewhat enjoyable and different. I thought that was the best part. Uh, we're now up to the second of the TV shows. Uh, we only watch about like three hours of, you know, three hours is sort of our limit. So for all these TV shows, they've got the, the nice part of either their nine episodes and the first five episodes seem to fit nicely. And then the remaining four fit nicely in the other three hours. Or the six episodes like this one. And, you know, you just watch half of them and go. So I'm only halfway. Uh, right now it's a bit blur. It's a bit like, you know, exactly what I'd imagine a Marvel property to be like, except the dialogue isn't witty, the villain is completely deranged. Um, I hate that on Wikipedia, the uh, actress said that uh, it was good that they gender swapped the actress so that their women, like young women, would have a character they can look up to, and it's like, you're the, you're the villain, you literally bombed, uh, like, you know, federal agents inside a, inside a building, like, intentionally. Like, I don't know what to say, man, you know? You, you're literally a terrorist, and you're trying to justify your actions, and then you say women look... I don't, what? What? Whoa! I'm a fan of that. Um, not... <laughs> I'm a fan of that fan, not the, not the previous statement. Um, but, yeah. Um, there was some real weird, like... I'm not sure if they're doing... I mean, I guess... I don't know, I... Uh, like, I guess Captain America related movies in the Marvel Universe have, like, a political undertone, but, like, I I see it more being, like, a like a spy thriller kind of political undertone, not a, like, modern-day race relations undertone, because to me, like, I don't know, I don't know, uh, talk about politics, but, like, legit, it's like, you gotta, you gotta be American to truly know what's going on, and for me, I'm just like, I don't know, man, you're talking about all the stuff that, like... This is a hand control. They're, they're doing all the stuff that seems absurd to me. It's like, it's like you're telling me that this guy can't get a loan because he didn't exist for five years, like literally half the people in the universe, and then you're making the illusion that this is, uh racially motivate or something like I don't know man like I don't know what's going on there so who knows maybe there's a there's a proper plot point at the end of the day um we'll see but uh touch the blue I'm in the blue uh, I don't know I don't know I, I watch these movies more and, and, and I guess these TV shows more for um understanding the zeitgeist and at least having a good time with some good action because I do like me a good superhero action scene there's something fun about, you know, a fantastical kind of scenario, and you can do really cool stuff in a superhero context. Um, you can't make your characters, like, well, I don't know, you can still make your characters invincible, and as long as they're cool doing it, that's fine. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, a really, really good one that I enjoyed like that. Look at that, I found my quad damage again. We're so back, we got it. Gosh, they're really loving spawning, like, little, having little monster cupboards, monster closets. Oh, I'm in the blue again. Hi there, blue. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, phew, phew, the enemy blocked it for me. Uh, I guess I, I guess I'm in the water now. In the blue. Hey, excuse me, I'm trying to get out of here. exactly run away can I um but yeah I don't know if uh if this will get better um I'm sort of under the impression that WandaVision was the best of the TV shows and 
it was all sort of downhill from there. Um, although, uh, I am throwing what if in there. Just as a change of pace. And because I, you know, understand the zeitgeist. That's what it's all about. Uh, we did some other zeitgeisty ones. We did the end of the, um, the X-Men movies. And we did the, was it the James Bond, the Daniel Craig ones? Because I sort of dropped off after a while. And I actually, I used to have a negative opinion of Skyfall. And then I rewatched it and I'm like, nah, man, past me was tweaking. Like, Skyfall was great. I don't know what I was on. Uh, the two films afterwards, though, uh, ooh, ooh, we're a bit of doozies. I, what is going on with this level design? We're going around some weird innards, we've got, we're on a gear. I love how I keep picking up cells, and it's probably just for, like, shields. It's not even for anything else. Um, yeah, yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. I, I am worried about bad riding dragging down a lot of these... Uh, movies. Uh, not necessarily that I'm in it for the plot, but more that, like, when it is very nonsensical, and then, and then especially in these TV shows when they spend so much time doing talking because that's how you can pad out the runtime. You can't make, you know, five hours of action. You have to pad it out with, with, you know, with dialogue, and, uh, yeah, they're, um, they're, they're not doing a great job on that one. It works for One Division because One Division just relies on mystery. That's that's how you can drive the engagement by just having the characters in a fantastical scenario that still makes some sort of sense, but you don't have to like you don't have to spend a ton of time explaining the fantastical nature or like how it oh hi hi boss again. Let's go with the grenades. Um. You don't have to, like, explain your scenario and be super complex. You just have to be, like, fun and cool and just have stuff happen. As long as it's engaging, you know. Don't, don't like, you know, sugar overdose. Don't do that. Don't, don't have too much stuff going on, but, like, you know what I mean. Uh, right now, for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there's a lot of subplots that they mentioned in the first episode. And episodes 2 and 3 have not brought those back up again. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yes, I am watching She-Hulk eventually. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna do a post-mortem on the whole thing, I guess. I'll tell you how it goes. Half of our movie of the week is still gonna be divvied up with, like, other kinds of stuff, so we're not gonna be watching exclusively Marvel stuff. Um, but it will be, um... You know, like, like, toss around the whole year. By the end of the year, I'll, I'll, I'll be done, so don't worry. Ladder. Um. There's some fun god rates going on there. There's a, there's a degree of ascension going on with the, the level design right now. I don't know if you can tell. Hiya. How you doing? <laughs> um, so yeah, from this point on, I feel like you know we're sort of entering the uh, the inner sanctum of. Uh, I mean, we're in the inner hangar already, but like you know, we get closer towards the. There you go. Close the door. They'll never be able to get out now. <laughs> They'll never be able to just open the door again. Oh no 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 no! I want to go away. I'm going away. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going away. I'm going. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah. No, I'm curious uh, how this goes. And up we go. Into another level. We are we are in the launch com oh, where are we at? The launch command. Look at that. Woo. Very fancy. Very, very fancy. I really want to see what's on the other side of that wall, but it's probably nothing. So we must destroy the black hole generator now that we've stopped the the door. I think it's probably rail. Oh, oh my railgun's actually getting pretty pretty mild. It's probably rocket launcher time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you good? You good there? Oh, hi there. Is there one both? There's one both ways. Cool. <laughs> 
How about let's just leave? And they'll probably walk out and end up somewhere. There's four of them. There's four of them. <laughs> They're all over the shop. Oh no. As long as they haven't walked right into the hallway. There we go. Ow. Yeah, just, just popping them off behind a doorway. That's how that's how you play all these games. That's how it works. This one certainly works as a deathmatch map. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like when I was saying, oh, Quake 2 doesn't have as iconic levels, I feel like it really picks up at the end of the game. I feel like there's something very striking about just like, I don't know, in terms of feel, it probably doesn't look like it as much, but there's something very good about how this all works out in the end. So we go in here, we're up a lift, we go up, you know, like, it feels so natural. We got to the other side, you can tell exactly what you're doing. Now we gotta walk out. Oh my gosh, there's more big dudes. Lots of big dudes. Uh, I don't exactly, I mean, it's weird as well. I think on our spreadsheet we've got some newer movies. Uh, like, as in last year, newer. So, it would be curious for us to go through some of them. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Should every week I mention that? I don't know. We've also got a Fargo time spot. We're watching Fargo Season 5 as it comes out, which is almost done. I'm enjoying it. I don't know whether it's better than most of the other seasons, although I think I'm enjoying it more than Season 4, because at least, at least I engage with the characters. At least there's interesting stuff going on, but I do wish there was more of the characters going on. I feel like some of them don't get as much screen time as I'd like, so we'll see. Or there's too many characters, and I want, you know more of them to succeed, but there's only so much time. They really, really like these big guys, don't they? I uh, know we're gonna get into, like, the weeds of so many of them, eventually. Hope you don't mind, I just shoot the floor all the time. <laughs> Got more green water. Blue- that's not green. It's not green, what am, what am I on? Oh yes, green. I'm not even colorblind, let me tell you that, because like I can clearly tell this is two different colors. So I think, is that sequence just for the force field controlled by the launch computers? The launch computers. I remember always using to misread launch as lunch and lunch as launch. So whenever on Skype you'd say out to launch as your your like pre-built pre-done status, I always say out to launch. I was like, what are you launching? The rocket? Oh, no, not the core CPU. Dang it, Intel Core 155H or Ultra. I don't know. I don't know the naming. It makes sense to me because they're all like you know the, the Media Lake laptop parts. So to me it's fine, but like. I can understand, like, someone going, like, how does a, a core 155H compare to a 14... Um, not even, like, a 14900K, there's laptop 14th gen parts as well that are also wrapped to, like, the higher power ones, but it's, it's a weird one. I'm over here! So are these dudes still wandering over there? Hey, oh, yeah, there he is. Really burnt every rocket trying to take out all these fellas. Nothing beats a super shoddy though, I'll tell you that. No matter what game you're doing, the super shoddy is king. It's music to vibe as well. I love it. nearly at the end of our escapade as well. And I think it's the other way. Do we now have access to this? Oh, there we go. Get him in the kidneys. Destroy the computers! I really like destroying computers, apparently. Uh, let's do this. And this. Look, they even hit a power shield behind them. 
Very nice. And that's every enemy, and uh, who knows where the secrets are? <laughs> who knows? Not me. Not me, I guess. Out through the door. We're still going. So now we're in the Outlands. We must retrieve the airstrike marker. I love, like, these larger outdoor areas because it, it makes me realize how actually, like, you know, the engine can scale because, uh, I should really play Hexen 2 at some point, but that's on the Quake 1 engine, and you can really tell that, like, the Quake 1 engine, you can do outsides, but you are kind of limited on that engine, whereas at least Quake 2, they get bigger and bigger. That's one thing I guess Quake 1 had as a limitation was making the maps in 3D. Um, also, computers are expensive and complicated to make, so of course it is fun. It is true. Have you seen? You can get a... what is it? A... Ryzen 5500 for like 140 bucks? That's a good deal. That's a good CPU at that price. Except you do lose PCI form. But like, if that's not a problem, it's all good. Go for it. Or spend a bit more because... You can do a bit more if you want to. All these little dudes everywhere. Oh look! They're just hogging the marker. It's right here. I love these slopes as well. Just a run and gun, an old fashioned run and gun level. Lots of weak enemies. <laughs> <laughs> and all these guys run out. Hold on, where's my airstrike? There it goes! Woo! Woo! <laughs> there it goes. That was it as well? Like, I, I feel like I rushed straight through that level. Like, I'm pretty- yeah, I'm pretty sure the level continues on that. I want to look around just that tiny little bit because I'm pretty sure there's like... Something. Something in the water. More computer room, I guess. Ooh. That's a that's a silencer. It makes you silent. <laughs> Is you get it? I'm silent. They can't they can't hear me now. There's something weird about the silencer as well, because I'm pretty sure it's like the um the invisibility powers from uh earlier games and it's just like now you're having to dodge where enemies are guessing where you are oh, hi there fish how you doing but yeah i'm pretty sure there's something in the water here and i'm gonna discover what i'm glad guns work underwater although they also work in space Let's see if we got some dude here. You can, I guess, drop down here and swim through this. And, uh, what's over in this direction? What's going on over here? Swimming, swimming, swimming all along. Another dude. Oh my gosh. And more bullets. I hope there's not just four more fish. Well, there's one, two, three, four. There were just four more fish. That was it. That was all it was. There weren't even any secrets. I just ran around just to shoot more fish. It was worth it. I told my wife I was going to the bank. I didn't say which one. I would be- I don't know if I'd be, ever be good at fishing, because I'm- I'm like, I'm very jittery. Secret fishing minigame. The previous game had, uh, had- had dope fish as well. This game does not have- oh, if it's got dope fish, I don't know where he is. Uh, but- Yeah, no, I'd be terrible at fishing, because I'm like too jittery. I don't know. Or the fish would like jittery, I don't know. That's a secret fun fact. I'm self-conscious about how much my, uh, my inability to, like, be perfectly still. I'm not like, not, not like I toy around with things all the time. There we go. End of a, end of a hub. This one's one of the longer ones, actually.
Here we are. It looks like the final one, but that's just because uh, number 10's just kind of tucked away. Although this one's not too long, to be honest. We we should be done kind of soon. We're in the we're in the, the stronghold, the palace. You, you know when there's a palace, yeah. Locate locate the strong leader, Macron. Isn't that the French president? Oh my gosh. Quake 2 secretly was just a game against the French. I, I, I assume what they were trying to do was like macro and then add a cave with pizzazz and then like... I, I, I guess the end makes it robotic of some kind, I don't know. Lots of dudes still. Lots of little dudes. And then and then here comes a railgunner just to ruin my day. But I love these outdoor sections and, and I, I don't know, to me I remember so much more about the end of this game than the beginning. Just because you get these larger areas that, you know, you can toy around in. Even if you're still sort of trapped in bits, it's like you don't feel it doesn't feel claustrophobic anymore. There's something very fun about like these cliff sides. And I love the shadows, which is more a this engine thing, but still. What is that, five secrets? Really? Ooh. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I know where one of them is. Pretty sure one of them is just like... Walk up around here, cross here, drop down. This is a button that activates like that over there, I think. You wander over here, climb over here, and then you're on top. Push the button. A secret door is opened. Okay, and now where's the secret door? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll find it. Oh, that's not the secret door. Or was no, it's probably not. Let's just do that. Now, these guys mean serious business. They look like a previous enemy, but they got like double the health. Therefore, they're serious business. You can see they keep reacting. They oh, no, now he's dead. And there was a second one there. Maybe they don't have double the health. I thought they did have double the health. But they're only in this chapter and the next one. But wow, they're everywhere. They're gonna they're gonna absolutely be pains. Oops. Oh nice. Uh oh my gosh, I just keep sending these flying guys after me. Like, oh, hi there. Oh, that's why I keep sending flying guys after me. He was responsible the whole time. Oh my gosh. Where are these guys coming from? Where are they coming from? What is going on here? Ooh. Okay, we're gonna need to go guns blazing on this guy. Uh, bring out the grenades. What's going on there? What? <laughs> Seriously, I've barely walked anywhere in this level, and it's like, yeah, no, you know, 37 kills. Why not? I don't even know where the secret is, where that door was. I just know I probably take. Oh, there's another one. Why not? Get it. There we go. Jump in the lava for the secret. Oh, okay, sure. Wow, there it is. <laughs> I do this every time, man. <laughs> I do it for you. I do it for the fans. The worst part is that you can't even, like, try to run past these guys. One, because they're kind of big and you might actually just get, like, stuck on them. And two, because you got to backtrack through this level a couple of times. And so it's just like, you don't want these guys, like, still chilling. And I don't want a medic just to ruin my day as well. I'm like, oh my, oh. Okay, I'm going down. Get out of these guys, get them out of here. So many guys, oh my gosh. They're gonna chase me into the water? Get, get, crush them with the lift, crush them. Gosh, 
I gotta deal with that guy. Oh, and there's still two guys above him. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is a bit awkward. Wow. I hear another one back there as well. Like They didn't even cool! There's another one just back there! Oh my gosh. Last hub be like. Seriously, where are the all these guys coming from? So this is the lower palace, which again, by the way, more more area to to spawn more dudes. Although this seems to be spamming lots of little guys, so that's that's cool. I appreciate that. There you go, ten enemies, no sweat, and then big guy. Oh, okay. Was Quake this mean? I don't think Quake was this mean. It sort of just ended suddenly. <laughs> was Turok this mean? Heck yeah, it was. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, wait. Yeah, you yeah, know, I'm enjoying this. I, I definitely. Oh, God, for just all these enemies, all these big dudes. I swear. Lots of big dudes, wow. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I've definitely, I, I've actually been enjoying this like second half of the game a bit more than the first half, just because, yeah, I, I'm remembering all these levels and going, ah, yes, this part. I'm remembering how many enemies there are, like, wow, jeez. Um, oh. I'm gonna need some health in in a hot moment. Thanks. I'm gonna need some more. I'm gonna need some more from somewhere. There we go. Shoot him in the shins. He'll never be able to respond. I feel like getting railgunned uh, would be quite painful, to be honest. I think you gotta walk in between the blue ones. There we go. Where are we at? We're on the. The lower upper decks, the lower inner, lower lower palace. Cronoa palace. This one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Help. I'm a feared. What's going on over here, man? There are so many enemies and such. Okay. When I was going, oh, they let you spread out and stuff. It's like, nothing. Not anymore. Just constantly getting pushed out, constantly getting pushed. Ah! I don't know if that's. I assume that's just a, a neighboring guy. Oh, nope. Hi there. Hi, how you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Can I circle straight past? You see what I mean? It's very tricky to even like circle straight past that shield. Red force fields. All right, we've deactivated some force fields. I guess we're making progress. Although that's that's a lot of the enemies, but also uh, oh, I got super shoddy. Lie on the super shoddy. Oh, it's behind me. Where where did this guy come from? Did he just, did he just grand slam from above or something? More rockets, I guess. There we go. Get him out of there. Um, yeah, and uh, and this night dive port, I love it. It's great. It's it's like you know, it plays just like Quake Two, and it looks very nice and smooth. Uh, but yeah, okay. So I don't know. Deactivate the red force fields. So which one was the red force field door? Not there. Might have to wander back. I feel like there's a bit of back and forth between a couple of levels in this world as well, in this unit. Well, let's wander back.
Gives me a very Half-Life vibe as well, you know, having to deal with all these different, like, sections of the map. Alright, so down in this tunnel, I think this just, like, pipes it back out. I don't really think anything... Okay, okay. It's a bit quiet, it's a bit dark, but... Dead enemy, where am I gonna hit from? That is, that is a very cruel part to just throw some enemies there, for sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm feeling that point where it's like, yeah, okay, okay, lots of enemies, I get it, I get it. Don't worry, I can destroy the computer and grab uh, the communications laser data CD. Or rather, that's what I need to find now. Hold on, is that a... That's a door I can go in? Or is that a... Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Lots of flying dudes, so... Convenient the aliens you see the... Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, CD is a ubiquitous format, because all it involves is, you know, you have a laser, which these guys definitely have, and, uh... Plastic, which apparently they do have. Oh, I mean, I guess they're at advanced race, so they probably got plastic. And then, uh... What else do you need? That's it, right, pretty much. That's how you make a... There you go. That's how you make a, a CD. You just... You know, write some real tiny bumps. Again, mean placement of this guy right there. Oops. Oops. There we go. Where are we now? It's some, somewhere underneath everything, but uh... Underneath enough to somehow find a different route into the lower palace. And those guys are very dead. I'm like a little insect, I'm just running around just going like, oh, okay, oh my god. Uh, that doesn't activate that. Are we going up the top? We are going up the top. Okay, okay. What other items am I just not using? There's an invuln ability as well if you want. I don't need it yet, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so we can go to the- Oh, hi there! Hi there! <laughs> Dudes everywhere, oh my gosh. I love this like kind of courtyardy. Also, every time you walk into this level, he'll keep making the comment about destroying the um, the lasers. Okay, big guy that way. Good to know. Oh hi. Oh, I'm down here. Uh, don't do this as a kid. Don't- I- when I was young, I used to think it'd be so cool, like, cause you watch, like, cartoon characters slide down, like, railings. Don't do that. It's not safe. Or just jumping down all the flights of stairs, because my legs aren't built for that. There we go. Oh. Oh. I like how they put that wall there, and then it's like, yep, you're now trapped here with this guy. Gosh, the big guys really take their time, don't they? Now we're back up here? Up here? I feel like I need to either poke something or... Mm, yeah, here we go. Hey, no, he blocked it! Let's try it again, once more with Gusto. No, 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 I'm leaving now, I'm leaving now, I'm leaving. You can't get me, I'm leaving. We're now in the upper palace. Where we'll proceed to get another silencer, I guess. What can we find in the upper palace? Probably more enemies. More of the big guys, more of the little guys, more of the guys all over the place. Oh, right there. Uh, 
I'm about to cop it. I'm actually about to cop it. Maybe I should drop the adrenaline. Who is... Who is... Oh my gosh. Legit. Lots of dead space. Lots of just, like, pushing you through, like, gaps and, and having enemies, like, oh, oh my gosh, like... I guess on my health again. Mostly because I'm being uncareful. Oh, look, a CD. Alright, we need to reprogram that CD. It's probably health. There we go. Lots of stuff down here, though. There we go. Not only were they convenient with CDs, but they also put, like, every healing item there. They should come and try me. Come and try me. Come and try me. Very nice. Very, very nice. There we go. Uh, again, with the iconography, by the way, I just want to add, it's like, ah, yes, we have our red flags with a white stripe and a black and white emblem in the middle. Obviously, this is a strong iconography, and we should all never aspire to, you know, to use these kinds of symbols ever again, you know? We want to be as bad as a strong. Hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I need to reprogram the CD, so I need to find a place to reprogram it. Should probably deal with this guy. Let's use that rail gun. I love the, the, the kind of red, just kind of brownness of this whole area. And it's like, it's weird. It's like it's a cathedral, sort of. But like... It's like, who, why? The answer is iconography, my man. Uh... How do we reprogram this? Apparently all the way back here. Oh, like outside back here. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I'd completely forgotten how much backtracking they actually wanted to do. We turn off the red force fields, then we go get the, the, the CD, and now we gotta walk back, and now I gotta deal with this guy, don't I? There he is. There we go. Easy stuff, easy money. Uh, so, oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> you were not there before. I was looking at the ground. What are you doing here? It spooks me, did I tell ya? Oh, I have pushed him off a ledge. With his brethren, apparently. Uh... I'm glad that's actually getting him, just like, shooting it down a bit. Whoop. Geronimo! There he is again, he's telling me about the uplink. It's like, you just gotta walk here, man. Get him out of there, get him out, there we go. So if we go down this, uh, staircase, I guess back in the lower palace again, uh, we should be able to find our way back to the bottom, where, uh, you can reprogram the data spinner and the CD, and we can now reprogram the CD, I guess? That's just how it works. And now I got the data spinner back, and I think we're good. Yeah. And we got a key card, so... Oh, hi there. Back to really taking it. Wow. I 
I love these enemies. I sure wish that there were more of them, you know? There you go. Deactivate the green laser. Or the brainstorm, as I just said. That's right, another entryway into the upper palace all of a sudden. Why they add so many snaking pathways, I'll never fully understand. It makes a neat level though. Very hexen of them. Maybe they had the idea to do this for more of the, the hubs and they ended up kind of simplifying it down. A double kill, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, take out lots more dudes. Up the lift. Oh, really going up the lift. We got a little hidey hole door here, which drops us down onto this guy. Hi there. How you doing? Don't think a lot of room for this guy, do they? Nah. Okay. Follow. Follow the light. Anyone ever played Tron 2.0? That game is a fun one visually, I'll tell ya. Alright, so back in the, uh, the little lift room here, I think we've got a, a ladder that we can use to, well, doesn't exactly go up much. Oh, does it? I can barely see, hold on. No, it doesn't really go up much, but it does go down. There we go, so down we go. Probably the worst room to be in with the guy who launches grenades. There you go. I want it. There you go. Security pass grants access to the force field control chamber. Okay. So now we gotta find... Where does the force field control chamber exist? Oh, I don't know. Well, okay then. If that's how, if that's, how that's gonna be... So I believe uh, there's like two parallel staircases here, and this other one, I think, have we, yeah, we've already gone through, because this looks, no, wait, no, I climbed this one already, yeah, sorry, this was where I entered. Oh my gosh! Okay, I, uh, literal hidey hole, are we done? Are we just done? Uh, hmm? It doesn't know, it doesn't know how to get there. It doesn't know how to get there. No. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll just climb our way down again and make our way back out and back around. I mean, it makes sense if you drop down here and then it's like, oh, like, where do you go? Or we go further down. One of the two. No, I need to... I need to... Yeah. Hi there, what, what are you doing here? You just came out of nowhere just to greet me. Very, very nice. Alright, well I guess we'll back out and go into another door again. Oh, hi there. Don't knock me back into the map transition. Back up and around we go. <laughs> yeah, how much weird backtracking is going on? I, I didn't even recall off the top of my head. Yeah, okay. Down comes the lift, up comes the us. through the door once more and well, now I think the game's got a good idea of where we need to go there that green arrow it should be all good because I've now reprogrammed the thing so we can now just put it here pop it in now the laser shut down which will oh okay 
We should be almost done with here. Keyword is should and almost. Ah. He'll never be. Oh! He'll never be able to get me from here. There we go. Knock him over. Wait, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, lava. I wonder if there's a secret in the lava. Do you think there's a secret? Nah, there's no secret in there. Why would there ever be a secret in the lava? I'll check it out just for you. No, it's definitely, it's definitely lava. What about this lava? Pretty sure it's lava. So here we go. Look at that. We can now enter the exit and exit the enter entrance. Something, I don't know. And that's it for this hub. We are now in the final inner chamber, which is just like a, a slow build up to the final boss. Gotta have your armor in case. I love this entrance as well. You're like, huh? And which, pretty sure, yep, kills you again. Kills you again. Why not? Why not? I have the, uh, the instant death. You know, a bit here. He's like taunting you. He knows. He knows you're coming. He even dropped you two stim packs. So up we go. We got this kind of weird chamber going on where, like, we gotta press these buttons. Oh. You gotta make sure you reach. Good morning, snowman. How's it going? Or not a snowman, rather. It's not morning over here, but it's morning somewhere in the world, and that's always good. We're right near the end of Quake 2, so we're almost done. I got a little more to show afterwards, though, so don't worry. Just a little teeny bit. Alright, okay, up. Up. Leviosa. Here we have the final put. Nah. He lied. Instead, he decided to put these weird little laser traps where you gotta press these buttons while having these dudes fire at you. It's not that bad, actually, but it is like, it is a bit of a fake out. How, how are you doing? It, it is a nice day for fishing. That is, that is fun that there's multiple fishing comments today. Um, but yeah, no, I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. My my voice is a little little hoarse, but it's not like sore or like strained. It just I just feel like I've probably got like uh, to to talk a bit more because I haven't been doing this for a bit. So, and welcome to the final level, the final showdown, if you will. There's plenty of uh, pathways and little hidey holes all over the place. Uh, is there there was one secret in this level, and I want to see if I can somehow remember where it is. I think. It was on, I think it was up on the, the, the flight deck. I'm going to need to remember where this is. Someone, hold on, I'm, I'm going to save state. No, don't save over the quick slot. Save over an actual slot so that I have something. Here's the guy. There he is, by the way. He's a, he's serious, Beerious. Uh, so, pretty much, I think he's a bit mean because does he, what does he do? Yeah, he fires these, like, mini guns at you. Which is not very kind. Oh, you might be thinking, oh, quad damage, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, and a BFG shot, which will really annihilate you if you're anywhere near it. Your voice is a pony. It is a pony, yes. I didn't even realize they rebooted My Little Pony. And they got James Marsden to be in the Netflix movie. Hopefully my quad damage lasts, because okay, let's let's just probably gonna need to take out this guy. Oh, I'm out of BFG. Okay, uh railgun. Oh. Nope, he's still up. Uh do you know the good morning, nice day for fishing in it phrase from Viva La Dirt League? Because that's what I use. Ah. He seems to not be liking the railgun, I'll tell you that. The secret is the stun lock into the Oh, well, no, he'll just rail down me. Oh, 
you think they would have uh, had some epic boss music playing right now, but uh, I'm not too sure where it is. Uh, I think he's a bit dead. What makes... I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, my heart, your head is a railgun. So I believe if you step on certain platforms... Uh, you'll activate this bit here. And I know that there's a there's a death sequence going on. But check it out, it's the id gallery! We got John Carmack, we got Donna Jackson, they didn't take pictures of everyone, so we'll never know what Kevin Cloud looks like. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Oh, rip American McGee. Yeah. Oh. That's what he gets for supposedly inventing deathmatch. Uh, nah, that, that was the final boss there. Drop down the ladder. Where have we got more? This is a, this is a scene and a half, ain't it? Something feels off here, as if it came from a different time. <laughs> That's right, we got some 2023 edition people. Oh. Hey, the senior programmer. There he is. Look at these little dudes. Very nice. There's my boy. My boy. Every time. One day, I shall chat to Samuel Villarreal. Uh, but this is cool. I like it. <laughs> Quick, I don't have a picture of myself. Uh, write your name. There you go. Nice. Oh. Little dude on the top. There he goes. Very nice. And, uh, what's going on here, man? Oh, everyone. Wow. It's a very, very fun. And check that out. Wow. Quake 2 will always rule the cosmos. This is a very fun secret. I'm glad that this is like chilled, chilled here and they've expanded upon it. He's a mine. So, very fun. Can't even, can't even burn yourself. Insert band playing the Hogwarts music. That's my boy. <laughs> that was a sad scene though. That was a, that was a sad scene, but... This is a happy scene, uh, or a very confused scene, if you're looking at this. Can't do anything about that, it's just there. Uh, for reference as well, after you defeat the boss, the ship is supposed to explode, but I assume they're kind enough to not do that in this version. <laughs> at least, as you go down here, oh my gosh, the spinning Tim Willits. There he goes, there he goes. Where's John go? <laughs> oh, so that's fun, that's good fun. Thanks to everyone who, who made this uh, a thing, by the way. Uh, he's, still, he's still going there. Um, so how do you end the game? Well, after defeating the boss, you walk out, you hit this chamber, and we're done. We have completed Quake 2. And there's music as well. Very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, no, that's a GG. No, I definitely enjoyed this one. I, I, I enjoyed playing through it. And don't worry, there's still more Quake 2 goodness, and especially a little bit of Quake 2 goodness just just tonight, just to show off a little extra stuff. Because uh, <laughs> first time I played this, hydraulic machine sounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like uh, escape pod and everything just blows up. That's how it ends. Or does it? Quake 2, 2! But nah, it's your guy, he made it. He'll be back in Quake 3 as a playable character. Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel! Welcome to the dungeon! <laughs> yeah. There you go, that's your channel, Villarreal. But we, we saw a bunch of those credits, so. Very, very nice. Now, before I leave today, I want to, um, first of all, uh, next 
week we'll be playing uh, The Reckoning, and then I'll play Ground Zero, and then I'll play Quake 264, and then we'll do the Call of the Machine, the new levels. But also, secretly in here is, I showed off the id vault, and I showed off how there's like concept art and other kinds of things. I'd like to show off the development folder, because there's actual like fun like ads from back in the oldie days. This is a very fun ad, very nice. Grade A, brain-fed wild game. We got early HUD, uh, we got an early map, but here's the fun part. In this exists two things. We have, and the marks is playable here, as also there's some videos as well, so if you want to see, there's an actual like full video of what was shown off at the ECTS 97 um, trade world, but yeah, they've got this bit here. E397. These are the original maps included in the trade show demo of the game, modified to work on the final version of the engine. While they won't be the same experience as playing the original version, these levels accurately represent the state of the game at this time. We can legitimately play Quake 2 uh, as of E3 1997. Uh, also, I'm not 100% sure if these enemies are 100% the same logic, but sure, good enough. Um, and uh, some of these levels may or may not exist in the same kind of way as they originally did. Uh, but we can play through this whole demo and just kind of see, like, ooh, what was Quake 2 at this time? Important to note, I'm pretty sure they don't have a super shotgun, so you're going to have to wing the regular shotgun. Um, but I love how they have two of these demos just playable in some capacity. Like, here's these versions of the maps. And we've, we've still got, you know, like, the... The, the play count. Um, it says hard. I think it's. Oops. I'm not too sure if that difficulty is because I last played on hard, but it's. I'm pretty sure it's just one difficulty to rule them all. This guy is not fun when you, when you don't have jeans. I do have a railgun. Why don't I just do that? But uh, but yeah, no. I I I I love this. Like you know attention to extra stuff and that's why I'm excited um, for them to be you know bringing over the PlayStation 1 version or at least you know the levels from that version uh, just because like every version of Quake 2 is weirdly different in its own way um, maybe one day I'll go back and I'll play um, some other forms of Quake 1 um, just because uh, I'm pretty sure Quake 64 is like a fairly faithful port though so yeah, so press the exit button and you'll be taken to the next level where they give you a ton of goodies and then expect you to, to wing it. But I like how a lot of these sections are, you know, like here's an unfinished version of the, the map of the, of the jail block. As well as also how many big dudes that they just casually like throw at me. <laughs> and no armor, or my armor disappeared very quickly, one of the two. I'm gonna need some health from somewhere. I'm really gonna need some health from somewhere. Is there health in here? Oh well, no, that's just where the level goes. Any health? Nope. Uh, <laughs> this will be fun. I don't think they put that many enemies in here. They're just like, hey, check it out, we have sewer levels. This will be this will be fun. This will be fun to rock on one health. <laughs> he still shot me on the way down. Nope. Come on. Oh. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I got there in the end. Please be a goodie under here. Nope. They wanted me to shoot more computers. Oh, on the right. Sorry, I can't read. I can't read. They they called that earlier boss of battle these unfinished. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still like four enemies like chilling somewhere. That it's got me worried. I'm gonna walk around and just pop me. But there he is. They will just pop me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there was more health at the beginning of the level. But it's kind of fun, like, how, you know, a lot of ideas that they had for these levels still sort of existed. Like, Quake 2 was generally pretty filled out. I think there was just some, like, 
small technical bits here and there. But I guess at the end of the day, it is a bit iterative of a game uh, that they had already made. A lot of the engine tools are still quite the same, and, uh, you know, there's ideas and, and weapons and things like that they already had. Uh, where is... where is the path out? Whoops. There's probably a button just like... Oh no, hold on. Wait, so I came out of here. I guess I must put go up there, so let's go down the long way again. The jumping sounds like the jumps from Harry Potter 1 and 2. It is not the same engine. It's a, it's, it's a tech, but I feel like that was a trend back then. The Sign Maiden definitely looked very different in the final version. Mostly because there was a guy in there, but... There we go. Look at that. Next it. Groaning voice makes it. Oh, hi there. Pumping station. Did we, where was the pumping station in... This was Blue Water, wasn't it? Yeah! It was Blue Water, and it was a bit dimmer looking. It's very bright in this version. Also, I guess one day I'll play other Harry Potter games, including the remaining two Harry Potter ones. There are still... Two more to uncover, but one day I guess. Because I've got a, I've got like a decent backlog of games I want to get around to. Some little choice when you jump. Whoops. Get him out of there. Get him out. Shoot. There we go. Whoops. Get out of I feel like he's gone down the lift. I think my tide actually. Okay, sure. Uh, who are? Which ones do you want to get around to? Um, well, I guess for the Harry Potter PS1 games, because last year, pretty much about this time last year, uh, I only remember doing the Game Boy one. Uh, no, I did the PS1 and the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The Game Boy one was like just a real tricky one to get around. Um, but I, I did the PC one and the PS1 version as well. So there's a Game Boy Advance version, and then there's a PS2 version as well. Whoops. Uh, and they're all different versions. The PS2 one's probably uh, one of the more interesting ones because it came out in 2003. Like, they, they went to it and developed it after making the Chamber of Secrets game. So, weirdly, it's like a sequel to those mechanics. Um, I thought that was interesting that they found PC version. The PC version of the first game was real curious, I'll tell you that. And I liked it a fair bit. Um, PS1's comfy. Uh, Argonaut's got a certain vibe to them, though. There you go, look at that, I'm pumping. I'm pumping. So we're gonna exit here. Hey, this is my staging area. Uh, might be Blyster and then the Game Boy Color games. Yeah, the game... I like the idea that it was turn-based. I just... I really didn't like how it was structured. Like, that was a real... Just... You know... A, a, an absolute maze. You had to really understand where everything was in that game. And then you get... You know, absolutely yeeted by enemies being... Ridiculously stronger than you. And I think like, at the end of the game it didn't really matter. Oh, no! Wait, no! I cheesed out the end boss! I remember, I cheesed them out. Uh, shame they couldn't keep up with the later games, and with 4, you had just one version for all systems. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind if it's like, it ends up being a better version on all the consoles, but... You know, Harry Potter 7. This is a cool E3 mine, isn't it? Also, I guess, yeah, like, these were the weapons they, they implement, which I love how the railgun was always there. They knew. They knew day one. Uh, did, did you know what's really bad? Harry Potter 1 and Harry Potter 2 for the PS1 
have uh, completely different map layouts, so once you remember one castle and finish the game. Oh, it's different. You gotta, you gotta relearn it. I mean, bonus points as well. They're different castle layouts in basically every other game. Um, like, uh, I, I swear, um, even I played the, was it the Game Boy Color Harry Potter 1, and I know Harry Potter 3 on the Game Boy Advance. Same devs, different castle. This is a space level. I don't think this level is even, like, used in its own way. Yeah, this is just its own thing. It's a bit too spacious, but it's got, you know, it's got, like, this bridge bit. They know what they're doing there. There we go. I don't know whether I'd feel better or worse if it was the same castle layout for, like, multiple Harry Potter games, though. Um, I guess, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, the accurate Harry Potter castle of uh, Harry Potter 5 probably is, like, the one that probably should stay the most, but, like... Uh, yeah, I don't know, actually. I, uh, like, as I said, I was like, mm, no, I kind of do like it being the same, because then it's like, you know, familiarity, I guess. But whose castle is the most accurate castle? Uh, and the beans, too. Harry Potter 1, you need X number of color to get the password. You need X number of any type of beans to buy stuff like cards. Yeah, oh, but, dude, yeah, like, I'm not, like, I don't know, <laughs> the beans and getting all those cards. I should really, like, look back into it and, like, try and really understand it, but, like, as a blind playthrough, you know, I feel like, uh, I did the best I could, and, uh, I'm happy to leave it there. <laughs> well, maybe later, but, like, not, like, soon later, like, just, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. Push button. Down we go. There we go. I remember fighting around here, same enemy as well. I don't think it was space though, they might have changed all the textures. And the, sta and the staircase did not look like that. Jumping all around, jumping all around. Uh, Harry Potter 1 and 2. Harry Potter 1 PS1. Uh, if you don't, if you collect all the cards, you get a different, less sad. True, yeah. Gotta go visiting a friend, friend for a friendly coffee. Say hi to your friendly friend for me, will ya? Uh, don't, you don't have to get me a coffee though. I'm not a coffee guy. Um, I think I got the less sad ending as well because we didn't even win the house cup in that playthrough. Hufflepuff won it. Uh, I'm just gonna wander past these two. Just look at that structure and call it a day. Thanks for the stream. All good, man. All good. I don't know why this area is very dark. Maybe they were intending it for it to be darker and also flooded. I guess. They chucked more enemies in, though. Yeah, lots of dudes. But I guess, you know, you've only got so many enemies. I, did did Quake 2 actually, I guess it must have had a shareware version, right? It was the whole, like, first unit, wasn't it? So, kind of less of the game than Quake and, and, uh, yeah. But I think it sort of always kept that shareware model, or at least, like, the demo of some kind. Just because I think that works for them and that's part of their identity. But yeah, no John Romero. He was gone for this one. He was not on this one. I can barely see that there's dudes over there, I tell you. The sad ending is you enter the, get the Great Cow alone. The less sad ending is you play Quidditch against Slytherin and you get a card of yourself. Oh yeah, true. You didn't even play against Slytherin. I sucked at the chess part, I'll tell you that. Uh, did they... Did they, did they make a way for you to get out of the water, or nah? Oh no, here we go, there's a ladder. Nope. Wow, that's a... that's a... That's a ledge. Yeah, wow, it's very dark in here, ain't it? 
you can barely see what's going on here, I can tell you. Also, I love how, like, Twitch compression, and especially Twitch, but, like, YouTube's in the same boat as well. It, like, darker, like, sections is, like, sorry, darker colors and brighter colors get, like, kind of muted out. And it makes these dark sections very, very hard to like, actually see on stream. You didn't suck at the vaults, only the chest part? No, it's just the chest part, yeah. Hold on, which one was the vaults? The... That's what I get for running around. Run straight through. Nope, I can't run straight through. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, which one was the vault part? The because that was the hold on, that was the part with the 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 vine. This is the PS1 version. That was the part with the the, the vines, and I struggled on that one a bit. I remember that one, the 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 devil snare, and then there was the um the Quidditch, and the Quidditch was easy. Trying to grab the the key thing. Hold on, what's going on? Oh my gosh. Just enemies all over the place. Jeez. Um, oh, I don't think the chest was actually that bad. I think it was just Voldemort at the end. This reminds me of another part of the level, part of the game. I do wish I had copious amounts of armor, though. I guess that's already turned for me. Sure. Ow. Wow, that was mean. Let's just rush through these guys, shall we? Uh, this looks rough. The vault with the mic. Oh, and you have to spin around and collect it. I did not get all the all the gems, so I guess that's probably why I didn't. I don't say it's hard because I didn't actually commit to doing that. But that probably is the hardest part of the game because if you pass it, right? If you if you get enough gems, it continues on. You have to like unload and, and reload your save in order to get the, the car, don't you? And that's the that's the truly main part. The worst part as well is the compass doesn't work in Z3 demos, so me wandering around the map going, where am I going? Actually, am I going? Oh, there's barrels here. Uh, sort of. That's how barrels worked. That's how they worked. He's still up there. He's still up there somewhere. There he is. Hold on, so yeah, so wait, there was this door and this bit. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, see, I think I get it. And you did get the saddle. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that was. I thought that was how you ended the level that one time. dudes coming from? What's the... <laughs> I'm wandering around in a circle going, hmm, what's going on here? Come on, E3 demo. Where, where's your secrets? Where do you go? We've got this doorway up here. This, I feel like it's up here somewhere. There we go. Okay, there's a bridge up there. Or oh, that guy is just up there. But no, there must be a bridge up there because there's stairway. There's ground up there. Do we have a ladder or something? I think it's this lift, I guess. lever actually work or no? I don't think it works. They didn't program the lever to work. And now I'm just wandering around going, oh no, where am I going? Yeah.
Yeah, I don't quite know where I'm going in this E3 demo. I'm sorry, E3 demo. Seriously, that's supposed to move, right? Maybe? I don't know. But standing here, it's like, okay, I'm just going around on the loop. Hold on, legit. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Alright, so we got a dude up here. Going around, we walk around here. We've got this, you know, bit that all that does is that kills me. Okay. We've got the lever up here, which I don't know what it does, but you got this guy standing up here, and it totally looks like there's at least some kind of secret. Maybe you're not meant to come up here. Okay, sure. But then, I guess it's as good as playing. Where are they hiding the exit? We're all about to wander in a loop, and unless the exit's like up here. It must be up here, but like, yeah, okay, but like, okay, how do we get up here then? <laughs> flying across, flying across, flying across, here, around the outside, nothing. This is probably a lift, okay, then where was this? Oh, really? Okay, hold on. Do I really get turned around that many times that I just didn't notice? That if I go... Oh, so all three of these... This is... I'm going back. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm turning my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just go forward and then I go up and how did I how did I get so turned around I tell ya I hope you like my bunny hopping and uh, me grabbing the health health that's not health that's fake health it doesn't exist Tricks me with the fake health. Okay. More levels! This is the warehouse? Or a warehouse? We probably had some warehouses at the beginning of the game. This reminds me of uh, E2M3. Or E. No, yeah, no. E2M2, sorry. E2M2 is a timeless level, don't let anyone fool you. Scattering tons of boxes is amazing, and every game should just like have a level that's just like a million boxes. Uh, make it fun, don't just make it, you know, Wolfenstein grid layout, but just do some fun with it. Uh. Nice, yeah! All to dodge this laser at the end. Oh, hi there! Alright, let's go in. It was a gutsy move. Hold on, we'll take it again. Got him. Got him. Got him. You got the fuse. Disabled the tracks. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that was the end of the level? Okay, sure. Uh, they really want me to take out this one guy right here. Okay, sure. I'm dodging it, I'm dodging it. <laughs> what we got? This is Warehouse 2. Oh my gosh, the sequel. The sequel. Oh, you, you got this, my man. Oh, oh yeah. This is like the end of the level, isn't it? <laughs> Very nice explosion. What? What am I aiming at in here? Where's the lighting? You didn't do anything in this room! <laughs> I think they knew that would be the end of the level, but they didn't quite know how they'd get there. So, uh... There we go. Pop out a couple of dudes. Oh. I 
like I, I gotta use my handy dandy almost flashlight to like understand what is going on in this level. I tell ya. There we go. We are now in Lab Hub. Oh, this is the other fun thing, is that they were originally going to do an actual hub level. So, this whole area is kind of, like, not what ended up happening. These guys didn't appear in the, uh, in the demo so far. Where are they from over here? Now you know, they had, they had the dogs. I'm glad I'm just making some enemies appear. That's fun. <laughs> Stress test. Oh, like a like a hydro. This it, this really is the hydraulic stream. So I think. Oh, hi there. I got the hyper blaster. Also, is that the disruptor? I don't think this uh, shows up in a. <laughs> this hasn't showed up yet. It's basically like a black hole gun. Did anyone drop out? There we go. Some help. There we go. Very very nice. But yeah, this is this is kind of fun that like as a demo level or as a beta level, and then it just never ended up in the actual game. Like, there's no equivalence of this level. I feel completely original. Lower beds to open this door. We got involuns. We got spinning platforms. How cool is that? Hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Uh. This sounds. This seems easier said than done. Maybe. Ooh. I was thinking, was it stuck on that guy? Yeah, no. They give you disruptor rounds. Very curious. We'll definitely be seeing more weapons in the um, in the the, the uh, you know, the extra level. So don't worry about that. There's there's still some goodies to to look at and things like that. You know, for a hub, it's not really hubbing to anywhere. The start of the life. You can't go back! What are, you, what are you doing? You're trying to go back. You're trying to run away? You're trying to leave? Oh, I need to see us go surf that. There we go. Uh, I think that's probably why that stopped. But... Oh, is that a ladder? Did I make a ladder appear over there? Or even better... Right up. With no lighting, that looks very, very curious. Oh, you have to shoot the screen to exit. And, uh... Factory. This area looks familiar. They still have the enemy just chilling around there. Oh, he's not on the ledge anymore. He wasn't on the ledge this time. We can drain the lava for... a bit. Look at that. Dynamic lava. I'm pretty sure. Quake 2. Not the same thing. That's our Quake 1. This is Quake 2. Whoops. And, uh... There we go. That's right, they only put one enemy and that was it. This is the end of the E3 demos, so... There we go. That was fun. Uh, I'll save... Playing the, uh, the other one. Uh, the other demo. Um, because a lot of it is sort of... Uh... I don't know. It, it's... It's somewhat similar to the actual game. Um... I say as I stop playing it right now. We definitely have like a couple of differences, most notably the uh, lots of explosive barrels, I guess. I don't know, am I on a roll? I'm on a roll? I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm on a roll, I guess. Uh, so th this wall is actually how it should look in the actual game. Um, they threw fish in the first level. How could they? Got this weird little bit over here. 
too quiet. Yeah. How many ECTS levels do we have? I think it's like eight or something. But like a lot of these are a lot closer to the finished products. Like we got this, you know, this bit down here, except they forgot to, you know, populate it with things. And I don't think there's a way out either. So you're just kind of in here. But they did put fish, so that is cool. Man, why are they getting the chain gun like right away? <laughs> this area feels a lot more like claustrophobic than it actually does in the actual finished version as well. Yeah, the secret levels that people didn't want you to, to, to play. Just chill in there, in the id vault. So I recommend, like, if you've, if you've got this game and you're like, oh, you know, like, I feel like I've done everything. They really should have, like, chucked, like, achievements or something around here, because, seriously. It's cool playing, like, you know, these kinds of earlier levels. Uh, now we're in the comm center, which is uh, the water level, I guess. We've got more fish. Why not? Uh... This area seems pretty mostly like what it is in the final game, except maybe too many fish. Maybe too many. We, 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 we've gone overboard. We have we have made too many fish. See ya, snowman. Have a good one. Have a good one. Yeah, no, we've actually put too many fish in this game. We've we've. This is really the the fishing stream and the hydraulic press stream, all rolled into one. Uh, I don't... Do we have the, the area, the secret area? Nah, not really. I don't think we do. We can keep wandering around. I think we got... Yeah, we got these dudes chilling here. Where is he? Where is he shooting from? I'm just going to keep wandering on because I'm pretty sure you've seen these levels. Mostly what they were in the... the well, not mostly, but there's... The differences are much more, like, minor and subtle. Uh, except I guess... Hi there. I guess that used to be a button. Oh, because that's the actual lift. Yes. I'm pretty sure that turned into an alarm panel on the, um, finished version, though. Yeah. Uh, that glass is not breakable, although I can... I, th I thought I was shooting through it. But they did know they wanted to put a little dude right here, so that's cool. It's interesting that I feel like item placement is one of the last things. Like, they know there's a couple places where, you know, having some health will maintain the, the momentum. Press the computer, because that's kind of all they could do, really. Again, no compass, no objective. You're just kind of winging it. So I think with that press, we now have uh, like access to that other door. Sort of had to, sort of had to know. Whoa! I'm using this weapon too much though. That's, that's my only problem with the railgun. The ammo is so plentiful though. Now we're in the detention center, I guess. But like, this level looks, again, fairly, you know, closer to completion than, you know, LAC 3 stuff was pretty just, like, you know, in progress. Whatever. But this is like, no, this is, um... This is closer to what this is. Oh, they even give you grenades. They got the rocket launcher. You got this guy. I mean, I had that guy earlier. I mean, this whole part should look familiar as well, shouldn't it? Yeah. How do they handle the two different routes, though? Because, uh... This diverts off into two different levels. Oh, I guess we'll just explore around. Yeah, okay, lots of dudes all over the place, I'll tell you that. Push button, what does it do? 
Uh, it makes me cry because there's a guy. If I just keep wandering on, is that like the end of the- Oh, it is the end. Okay. Sure. Uh, power plant. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Again. Uh, I think these are- yeah, these are all the weapons. But we do have a super shot each, so at least it's that. This used to be- this in the actual game was a- was a tank guy. And now it's uh, and now it's just water. Interesting that they flooded this, or they- they unflooded it. I had these enemies, so that's- that's cool. I was like, they're a bit shorter than I remember. No, it's because the platforms are going away. And the boxes at least work. These guys are still all vibing, all dancing around. Drop to the hole. Lots of dudes over here. Yeah, this is most of the same area, isn't it? It's curious which levels were the ones as well that they, like, you know, went, well, started off with, I guess. Because I assume these are all. Ah, see, interesting that they have this level. And they have some enemies right in the starting area. Or I just jumped very high and I triggered all of them. Probably that, actually. I don't think this is quite at all the same level, though, because, uh... I don't remember the hallways being this tall. They had scripts? Oh my gosh. They had scripts. Big door. Running amok. The giblets just going up. Another excuse to play a low gravity level. That's just, that's just that's just how it goes. Press button. Destroy the computer panel. Take out the satellite. Okay, I assume that's further on. Again, no compass. So. I got go, got a bit blasted away. Oh. Be the other door, because it always is. We're gonna have big dude? Yeah. Oh, these are on the floor now. But at least that is still, you know, the brilliant animation. Does it hit the force field or does it just keep going? It just keeps going. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, to the escape. I'm actually, it's curious that they've got this all, like, kind of plotted out as well, aren't they? We're now in the central command, and the gravity is normal again. We made the, we made the lighting a bit darker. But I, I feel like, yeah, this map's classic. This map is like, no way would they, you know, have done this one last. So I assume same rules apply, you, you go for the different, different things. Oh, hi there! Are you in the E3 demo? He's just chilling there. He's even got a shield going on. Oh, hi! Okay. At least I can use the blaster on him, so that's cool. Ooh. This area looks a bit too similar to the other side, though, doesn't it? You copy-pasted the level design. I hope you don't mind. You made it so you can't see the enemy. Oh, hi there. Big lad. Oh. Ah, I was like, it's gonna get me at some point. Oh, because you got the tech guy over there as well, yeah. Let's drop down, let's see, do we... How do we activate this? 
How the heck do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? We must go up, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. Let's do the lap, do the rounds. Oops. Don't really walk into that guy, hi there. The computer door has locked this room! Figured it out, don't worry. I got there. I gotta go back. Oh my gosh, what's going on behind me there? I think that just blew up, okay, sure. And I have to just That that did not happen in the uh, original game. I don't recall. So I'm pretty sure that this whole like machine blow up. Yeah it did. Too busy looking at the enemy in front of me to notice that. Okay, so hold on, I shot this computer. I think that just blew up into me. <laughs> too too aggressive, too aggressive explosives. Oops. Let's walk around the other way then. Oops. We're now in the upper mines. All of a sudden. This definitely happened afterwards. This one looks pretty, like, on point, though. Like, I feel like they've really got the workout for this one. And they got these flying dudes, so that's cool. I thought that was a good hit on the ground. I like how this was also in the uh, E3 demo, wasn't it? But uh, a little bit of a different angle. But at least, like, all these levels that they are showing as part of this demo, this is kind of the level flow. There's not really any, like, parts of levels so far. It seems to be, like, fairly full ideas. Like, yeah, you know, the enemies are in weird spots. There's different enemies. Obviously, the items aren't really there yet. But yeah, no, they're, they're a bit more complete on this one. I guess... They knew that they wanted to link to a level there, but they were like, oh, just roll it off, I guess. And then, I guess, in the actual game, they kept that in some way. What a strange side cut, though. It's just kind of chilling down here. <laughs> Alright, but good to know. I assume down here is still the, uh... The way that they want the level to flow. Uh, we'll go railgun. Oops. Oops. Lots of lots of dodging on this guy right here. That's kind of mean, like 30 damage from the from the bits there. Oops. Press the button; it's all good. And this is where the sex is, doesn't it? That is a very, very good button. But. What does that mean right now? Other than being above the, the start of the level, right? That's the start. Yeah, what did that uh, do? There was another 
Yeah, yeah, pathway off to the side here. That probably activated the, um... The radiation, the radioactivity down here. Which, at least they're kind enough, they let you drop down. <laughs> nice. We continue on, uh, is this the main campaign? Sorry, this is the, um, this is the, uh, the ECTS, uh, demo. Alright, let me, let me, let me do this with a bit less damage. Um, yeah, this is the ECTS, uh, demo. Um, so sort of the levels have sort of gone all over the place. <laughs> So now we're in the processing plant. This is a this was a fun level. I enjoyed this one. There's a fun floor button right there. Uh, I activated this door. Okay. Down we. Oh, up. Oh, okay. Oh, hi there. Hey there, Railgunner. How you doing? Would you like to walk on the lava or nah? Probably not. I'm just kind of instinctively turning around to try and like pop some- Oh, there he is. They're, they're in there, somewhere. Or trying. They're trying. My favorite part about the processing plant is the platforms that go straight over lava. Like real processing plants. Oh, hi there. I gotta, I gotta engage with him. Okay. Let's go in with the rockets. Oop. There we go. I mean, I guess that's cool that it's doing that, but like, what do I do in this room? Nothing? Okay. I haven't programmed that yet. And I gotta pop a guy from the back. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh my gosh, he's, he's going super sporadic. There we go. Uh... Oh. <laughs> we even got a medic? Oh my goodness. This demo is everything. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Some Someone worked hard on this. You gotta credit them for what on earth they are, oh, apart from a jam at the top. Never mind. Never mind, it kinda sucks. It's probably why they didn't keep it. I liked it in in I in concept. In execution it could do some work. This one's definitely, I mean they've got, you know, a lot of the level already planned out. There's some areas I don't fully recall even like seeing some of these rooms. But maybe it's me and my very short memory. Should be back at the yeah, yeah, yeah okay back in the main room okay pumping section station one everyone's favorite level that at least is lighting this time around walk into the lasers to recharge your health I see I see what you're doing I see what you're trying to do I think there was actually a lot of, like, decoration that wasn't in this level before. And now it's here for us to witness in full HD glory. Dude, there's like a new... I think, like, Ireland is trying to push, like, a bill. This is this is me pushing for positive. Um, I think Ireland has a bill for, um, like, trying to, uh... Like determine whether websites are like social media platforms by like how you can share video on them and they literally define as any place that like can like have media have video files which is kind of like all of them maybe not all of them but it's like at, at least like like 
file sharing sites apparently count as social media sites all of a sudden now. So, curious where this goes. Uh, obviously, uh, why do they want this? They want, uh, you know, some, some ID so you can't have anonymous names on the internet, which I feel like is such a shame. There's something cool, cool about, like, websites where it's just like, all you need to do is you make a name, put a password to your name, and there you go. Start posting stuff under your name. What do you mean it's misinformation on the internet? People don't just don't take too much credence to stuff people random people on the internet say. That's it. Have a fun time and leave the internet at that. Oh, uh, I feel like <laughs> I feel like there needs to be more up here because I'm looking around going, oh, okay. In general though, again, like, this is still, I mean, I guess this is two months before release, so it's like, they gotta really, you know, flesh out some of these levels, but, oh, hi there. Oops. Down you go, you're not coming back up. So, okay, okay, so I went down the pipe, so now I gotta go this way. Activate, activate the, uh, the thing again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I knew I was gonna cop it. Oh. Oh. Alright, cool. <laughs> Save that. <laughs> Back up. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might save scum, but I take things super aggressively that hopefully it's fun. <laughs> there you go, I can still activate this. We keep on going. We are now in uh, KMDM3. That's right. We put enemies in the deathmatch level. There's actually, I'm pretty sure uh, there may be another deathmatch map in the, um, uh, in like, with enemies for some reason. I Actually, it's the Quake 64 levels has that. So I'll show that off when I do the Quake 64 stuff, but it's like, it's curious that it's there. And you can't even trigger it in this game apart from going to the, um, going to the console, starting up the level, and suddenly it's like, oh, there's enemies. Oh, okay. I love this, though. This is cool. That's right, we've got a demo, and we've still got deathmatch maps, but I think they probably think about the deathmatch maps pretty early. No music, though. It's a very, it's a very dead silent deathmatch map, but I like, I like the vibe. I like what's going on here. Unless they throw another big guy at me, I'm not too fussed. What is... Okay. Ah. It counts as a big guy. Uh... Okay, um... Whoa. <laughs> Just where they exit the demo, they're just like, yeah, yeah, deathmatch map, there you go. It doesn't even loop, it doesn't even like lap around, what's going on here? I mean, it sort of looks like there should be something in that direction, but... There's nothing over there. Nothing out there. Is this, is this where this ends? Did they plot anything else, or are we, are we actually done? No, that, no, wait, no, yeah. Yeah, that... <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> door doesn't even line up. Um... Yeah, it sort of does look like... The, uh, the bottom of... Everything. Yeah, this might be the end of the demo. I can't think of any other place to... To put a, a, an exit, can you? Nah, I think that's it. Yeah, probably is it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. All right. Well, I will stop it there. We had a, a wonderful, a wonderful showing of a. Uh, 
of uh, the um, ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. of the two demos um, going on because yeah, the, the completion in, in November. Those are the only two demos, but you do get a lot of like unused little you know things here and stuff like that. Um, and we beat the game, so that's all good. So with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream or bits of it or whatever, uh, feel free. You can follow on YouTube or on Twitch, rather, uh, where I stream every week, the same time next week. And uh, if you miss parts of this, uh, VOD will be on YouTube because uh, Twitch always goes through the VODs after a week. And you can subscribe there for perhaps exclusive content. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I just do one video a week. That's it. Um, that's all good. Uh, also, yeah, I say stuff on Pluroma. You can follow me there, m.bnbear.com. I have one account there, so you'll find me, don't worry. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I mentioned those NVIDIA cards last week, and they're gonna get announced in like three hours now, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but uh, usually I'm 100% right and completely infallible. Nothing ever goes wrong with my predictions. I'm never completely wrong, so there we go so anyway have a good one everyone sleep tight don't stay up too late eat your greens look both ways before you cross the road uh and i'll catch you all next week or something like that i don't know <laughs> all right have a good one everyone peace